When I tell you that this series had an absolute chokehold on me, that is not an understatement. Hi everyone, my name is Melanie and welcome to my little corner of the internet. I was a child that grew up on Buffy the Vampire Slayer. This is my lucky stick. I've killed many vampires with it. I call it Mr. Pointy. You named your stake? Safe to say that I am cultured. That show was my be all and end all. It was something that I grew up watching with my dad. Loved it. Buffy. Feminist icon. Watching that show from a relatively young age, it made me obsessed with everything supernatural. I absolutely loved it. Vampires, werewolves, demons, you name it. I was probably obsessed with it. I loved all the lore. I mean, my background says it all, really. So when I got to secondary school and I found a series called Supernatural, you best bet I was all over that. Supernatural was a series that had an absolute chokehold on me. I loved every single bit of that series. Where do I even begin? This is sort of a different video to what I've been doing recently because I just need to profess my love for this show. I've been re-watching all 15 seasons with my dad. We're currently up to season three now. So that's, that's 15 seasons of 45 minute episodes with 22 episodes a season. So we're getting there. If I was watching it on my own, I could easily binge watch it in probably a month. Listen, the internet can bully me all I like, but I know that I was not the only one who was obsessed with this show. You just need to go back to 2012 Tumblr and you can see that it was not just me. I just have absolutely no shame in admitting that I love this show. It is a good show. The fandom was a little bit, a little bit crazy at times, but which fandom isn't? Okay. Now, when I started watching it, it didn't have 15 seasons. It had about nine. The show started in 2005. I was three, so obviously I couldn't have watched it then. But we move. It unleashed an era in me, which I am not proud of. But it was my cringe era. Was I on Wattpad? Yes. Was I shipping characters? Yes. But I was young. I was 13. Cut me some slack. Okay. So anyway, since, you know, starting the show years ago, I feel old now. I am now 20. Nearly 21. And I still love the show. It has a special place in my heart and it will never leave. And like I said, I'm, I'm binge watching the whole series again. It's something that me and my dad share as a common interest. So you know what? good vibes and it's not hurting anyone. I am lucky to say that I have met some of the Supernatural cast which was an incredible experience to say the least. I met Misha Collins, the one that plays Castiel, if you haven't seen the series. Hey, ass butt. He is an angel. No, he, he literally is an angel in the show. He is one of my favourite characters. For those who have watched the show um, and actually care, I was more of a Sam girl than a Dean girl. You can fight in the comments about it, but... I love them both equally, but Sam, Sam, yes. The writers hated him, though. Those who know, know. I met Misha Collins, and for people who have watched later in the season, I also met Alexander Calvert. He's the one who plays Jack. I'm not gonna give any spoilers. He is just... I love him. He is the most wholesome character in the show. Agent Swift. And this is, uh, Agent Lovato, FBI. I also met and had a photo with Matt Cohen. He plays Michael in the series. Also young John Winchester. They're all incredible people. Um, and I got photos with all of them and they're all so lovely and nice. And I wish I could meet them again. Come back to the UK, please. I was blessed to be at one of the last fan conventions for Supernatural in the UK. They've officially stopped them now, there's no more. If you wanted to see them, you probably have to go to Comic Con or something, or travel to America for a Supernatural convention, which I can't do, because I'm poor. But yeah, so that experience was so fun. Most of the cast was that I did not get to see Jensen and Jared. I was only there for one day. And, fun fact, it was on my birthday. The event being on my birthday, you could call it, supernatural. 
But yeah, no, uh, the event was, <laughs> it was so fun. I met so many cool people. Cast was there, spent too much money on Supernatural merch. When I tell you I have so much Supernatural merch, I have a massive book that details, you know, all of the lore and stuff in it. I've got fictional books about their stories. I have a massive poster in the corner of my room of Sam and Dean's mug shots can you tell that i'm a fan honestly i don't i don't think you could i don't think it's that obvious guys i have a car air freshener for supernatural whilst we're on the topic of supernatural i'm going to talk about the series itself my favorite season was season five that was the season that was supposed to end end the whole series a big final kapow avengers endgame sort of thing but for supernatural the season finale always makes me cry season five is definitely my favorite it's just so intense i can't give too much away because if you want to watch supernatural it spoils it if you do watch it and you get to season five prepare for heartache i can't lie after 15 seasons of course you're going to get seasons that just aren't it personally i am a massive fan of supernatural and i hate the seventh season season seven eight and nine they're a blur i just i can't remember a single detail of them it has been a few years since i've watched them which is why i'm doing a rewatch but genuinely i i can't remember a single detail about those series so series seven i know what it is and the plot the monsters they just they weren't they weren't good if you're going on 15 seasons of course the writers are gonna have some down moments it is what it is and may i just say i've watched a lot of series in my time and if anyone wants specific series um comment down below because i have watched a lot of them but the way they ended supernatural was really nice i know a lot of series where they end it and they just completely ruin the plot they ruin the characters um <coughs> the hundred <coughs> I do really appreciate how they ended the series, which kind of annoys me because I didn't want them to continue Supernatural. And then they announced that they're going to do a spin off series with gals. And also, they've started a spin off series for Sam and Dean. And I just don't see the point. Just leave it as it is. You don't need to. Just do not touch Supernatural. You do not need to remake it. It is a masterpiece in its own. Just leave it alone, please please we don't need any more remakes i really do not like remakes for anything for series films i just i don't like it unless netflix bring back the oa then i will be happy because that got me mad and i'm going to you know what i'm going to make a video on the oa because i believe it deserves a lot of love can't believe it got cancelled and a lot of you probably haven't heard of it you definitely should watch it so I'm gonna make a video on that. I think Supernatural is gonna be one of those things, if I ever have kids, I'm gonna get them to grow up on it, just like my dad got me to grow up on Buffy the Vampire Slayer. It's one of those series where it, ha it culturally had such a massive impact on me. God, I sound so pretentious culturally um supernatural did things this is just my opinion you can hate supernatural you can love it you can love the first five seasons and hate the rest it's still subjective um but i just wanted to share my love for it because it's an incredible series i have such a, a passion and love for it especially rewatching it if you have watched supernatural please let me know what your favorite season is your favorite character i i want to know everything i absolutely love talking about this show if you couldn't tell but yeah that was a, just a little different video for this week i hope you did enjoy and laughed at me for obsessing over a tv show but you know that's that's just me i just love tv and films uh, and no one can take that from me if you did enjoy please do leave a like subscribe and press that notification bell because i am trying to upload weekly videos i'm also trying to get to 500 subscribers this year so honestly a subscribe would be amazing you'd also be supporting me as a small creator and you'd be following me talking about films and tv shows i've watched jobs in my career going into camera operating in the film and tv industry and you know just anything fun that happens in my life you'll just be a part of that and be a part of my little community so thank you so much for watching and i hope you have a lovely day Bye-bye.